Do you like to read? Do you wish you had the time and the energy to read the oh so many good books out there? And do you wish you could read more and faster? Hi, welcome to Front Porch Lawyer, where we explore the humanity of lawyering. I'm Francine Tone, your host. Before I became a lawyer, I was a voracious reader. I had at least one, sometimes two books on my nightstand. Sometimes I would read four to five hours into the morning. Then I started law school. <laughs> now I was reading just as much, but they were all case books. And when I became a lawyer, I kept reading cases, but I added law journals, contracts, and other documents. And when I began pursuing my appellate law certification, I added all things appellate law to that list. I'm not complaining, because like you, I like reading about the law. It's fun, it's interesting, and you know, this is why I'm a lawyer. But I wanted more. I wanted to go back to reading the books unrelated to law, but I was just too exhausted. I knew there were books out there that would help me with my career, my mindset, my life, but every book was just taking too long to read. And I have to admit, sometimes I got bored. I kept wishing there was some kind of a shortcut. Then I found Blinkist. This is how you spell it, Blinkist, and it's a smartphone app. I put a link for a free trial for Blinkist down below. Now Blinkist identifies the key insights of a nonfiction book, good books, and puts them into these short, easy to digest 15 minute summaries. Each insight is called a blink, and in 15 minutes, you get all the keys, points out of that book, including examples and stories that come out of a 300, 400 page New York Times bestseller. Now for the longest time, I've held this belief that most nonfiction books were 30 to 100 page booklets, expanded to 400 pages to justify the $30, $40 price tag. Well, Blink has proved my theory. <laughs> when I'm done with the Blink, with the Blinks of a book, I have all the key lessons that I need. If I'm really interested in a book after looking, reading, you know, listening to Blinkist or reading it, I can go buy it and read the actual book. And that seldom happens. <laughs> but you can get your Blinks by reading or listening to them, so it's very mobile. And one time on a three hour drive to Mammoth Mountain, I listened to 10 books. I call that a pretty good bargain. <laughs> No, and this does not include fiction books, but you know, if you were reading fiction, you wanna get lost in the story anyway, you wouldn't want a summary of it. And by the way, this does not mean that I listen to or read a blink every day, because I don't, I don't have time for that every single day. But over a period of, let's say like a, a week or a month, I get a few books in. So give Blinkist a try and commit to one book and just see how you like it. It's a 15 minute commitment. You could do this on one run or just one drive to the grocery store. Imagine how it would feel about all the points you would get out of a New York Times bestest every time you went to the grocery store. So the link is there for your free trial. Try it and let me know how you how many books you got through in let's say one one week and how you like it. Thank you for joining me on my front porch and be sure to click the subscribe button below on your right corner, right hand corner down below so that you don't miss any episodes. This is Francine Tone and From Fresh Lawyer, and I'll see you next time.